beginning. No, no, I'm just reading you this line here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, don't go at the end. Start it from the beginning. Okay, let me read it Okay. No, no, you went, you went to chapter 6. You went to chapter 6. Go back to chapter 4. Now, now what I want you to do, what I want you to do, read before Bal, Bal, read before Bal, Wama Kataluhu, Wama Kataluhu, Yaqina. So they killed, they killed him not with certainty, yeah? Bal, Bal, Bal. So this Bal in Arabic, this is, this is a, a debt of istidraq wa idrab. So it has got two, it does two things. For example, in Arabic you would say, اعطني ماء بل شاين. So we do it to minimize repeating the, center, the sentence. So I say to you, give me, give me water. No, instead of water, I would like tea. But in English, you can't say rather tea, you know? It won't make sense. The, the sentence would be, the construction of the sentence would be no good. But in Arabic, I can say, I can say it, I say, Ja'a Ahmed, bal akhur. Ahmed came, instead of him, oh, it's not him, it's his brother. But in Arabic, we do it to, to make this, uh, the sentence smaller and concise. But also it means, it means, it negates, tanfi ma qablaha wa tutbitu ma ba'daha. So tanfi it negates what before it and it affirms what the what's after it. In here, what comes before it? Ma qataluhu, ma nafi. So ma is negate is for negation, yeah? And ma for negation and then it says no hang on, I'm uh, no, I'm 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 explaining it to you. So ma qataluhu, so they killed him not. And Allah puts more emphasis on it with certainty, yeah? But he moves to bal, rather, rafa'ahu ilayh. Now rafa'ahu ilayh, what do you, what do you understand by rafa'ahu in here? The soul. Again, the soul is a ruh. And a ruh can be in Arabic, can be, can be feminine and masculine. In here, it's, mas it's feminine. The reason being, if it was, if it was in the Arabic kind of lexicon and that, if it was a ruh, if it was the ruh, Allah would say, but would have said, bar rafa'aha ilayh, meaning the soul. But bal rafa'ahu, who, the who, the pronoun. It talks about Jesus because it's a'isa, isa, 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 wa ma salabuhu, wa ma qataluhu. You know, it's all going, the verses all going from 157 until 159. It's all talking about Isa, Isa, Isa. Okay, all right. Uh, chapter 21. No, no, go to chapter 35. 6. We're going one by one. Yeah, go to this one. Yeah. All right. بشارين منكم الخلد أفإن مت أفهم الخالدون. Yeah. Okay. Allah Jalla wa Ala says that He did not make anyone to remain eternal yeah? yeah okay but would you admit that shaitan is gonna remain until the day of judgment or not shaitan is different to what he no about no no beings. he's a creation he's a creation he is a creation of yes, allah he's creation, but he's not human. all right now now do this we agree do we agree okay okay i would understand We'll, we'll go for Bashar, yeah? Humankind, yeah? Al Khul. Will Isa ibn Maryam alayhi wa ala nabiyyina after salati wa salam? Is he gonna live for eternity? Is he not, is he, will he not die? Or will he die? No, that's according to your creed, not to my creed, not to the majority of the Muslims. Not to actually not the majority, no not to the con it's the consensus of the Muslims and no, Ahmadis no, are no. not Muslims. But it is saying we have granted we have granted not everlasting life. Yeah. To any human what does it mean everlasting? What does it mean everlasting? Yeah, eternal life. Eternal life. So Should you, no death. Yeah. yeah? yeah. But we we we. So how can Jesus have eternal life? He is not having eternal life because the ahadith of the dissension of Isa alayhi salam. It says that when he will descend, do you believe in the descension of Isa or not? Yes, of course. 
you'd believe in his dissension. So the dissension of Isa, not of Qadian, Isa ibn Maryam. Yeah, Isa ibn Maryam. Not Mirza Ghulam Ahmed. Okay? No, 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 no. Let's get one thing straight in here. Are we talking about Mirza Ghulam Ahmed? Or are we talking about, uh, about Isa ibn Maryam? Isa ibn Maryam. Now, Isa ibn Maryam, when he's going to ascend, when he's going to descend, yeah? Is he going to die or not? He will die. So, is he going to die two deaths? If he's already uh, dead, is he going to die a second time? No, he's going to die the first time, and then the second time, when he comes back, in another he's going to die again. He's going to die again. But you see, but you because see, but you see, time. but you see the, but the uh, uh, Allah's rule in the Sunan al kawniyah there is only one death, one death, one death. But you see, again, if I if I go with you, you just refuted the whole of your religion. You refuted it. If you say Isa will descend again and he will die. Second coming. Second coming. Will come, second coming. Will yeah. Be, it, second coming. It won't be that same Jesus that came the first time, because that, that Jesus. Yeah, but died. you're saying you're saying that Isa ibn Maryam is coming a second time. How many Isa ibn Maryam are there? How many Isa ibn Maryam are there? There's one Isa. Ibn one Maryam. Isa ibn Maryam. Yeah. Yes. Is he the one that's gonna come again or not? Uh, the first one has died, but the second one, when he comes, he's going to come in another form. Uh, what, what form? A bird? A lion? No, human uh, being form. Ah, human being form. So he's saying in another form. Yeah. So it means not a human being, is it? No, a human being. A human being? Yes. Has that human being already come? Yes. Who is he? Mirza Ghulam Ahmed. Is Mirza Ghulam Ahmed's name, is his name Al-Masih Isa Ibn Maryam Rasulullah? Is this his, is this his qualifications? Is he Al-Masih? Yes. Do you know what's Al-Masih? Yes. The, what's Al-Masih? The Messiah. The yeah, yeah. What's Al-Masih or Al-Masih? You name it whatever you name it. What is it? Explain it to me. What is it? Muhammad, you haven't done your homework. I don't want you to look stupid again. Come on, Muhammad. You know what's Al-Masih? Al-Masih means Yasih fi al ard It means he goes all over the places. Was Mirza Ghulam Ahmed going all over the place? Or was he from Qadian to, and he remained in one place? His teaching has gone all no, over. No, 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 not his teaching. His al Masih, teaching. look, it doesn't talk about the teaching in here. It talks about Al Masih, yani Yasihu fil Ardi. That's what it means. Not his knowledge. Not his knowledge. Not his teaching. It's none of that. It's none of that. His the mosques, Quran is specific. His mosques are everywhere. His, uh, the Quran, the, the well, well, look, I can tell you, his mosques are not in Algeria, not in Morocco, not in Tunisia, not in Libya, not in Saudi, not in Kuwait, not in, uh, not in Iran. No, 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 no. So how can it be that he's, how can it be that they are everywhere? They are not everywhere. Well, give me an example. Are they in France? In Spain? They are not in Spain, I can guarantee you. No, you haven't got one in Spain. You haven't got one in France. So you just have got one in here. More. You haven't got one in Belgium. You have got one in Germany. Look, I got, you have in Germany, but you haven't got... No, you haven't got... But that's, it's neither here nor there. But what you're saying, what you're saying, Mohammed, that they are everywhere. Everywhere means in China, Japan. It means every place. But I've just given you so many places that it's not there. In Saudi, in, France, Saudi Morocco. in Morocco, yes, Morocco in Morocco there is one there. In verse, Where in Morocco? Allah's, Allah's Where Allah's in Morocco? Allah's Come on, Muhammad. It's written there. Allah's I have knowledge. Muhammad, you're looking for something. Look, Muhammad, let's continue because you're gonna look and I'll, and I'll tell you from here. There is none in North Africa. In Egypt and on all the places, you've got them in. You've got them in uh, in Haifa, in Al Kababir. I can give you that. Yeah, you haven't got one in Syria. You haven't got one in so many places of, of the Islamic world. Yeah, but let's continue. Let's continue with that. Let's continue. So you're saying that he's got he's he's already come. Yeah. All right. So if I tell you the hadith of the dissension of Isa. Do you know, give me what he's going to do when he comes back. Give me what he's going to do when he comes back. 
these are all the signs that you're talking about. Yeah, give me one of the signs. You say he already came back, yeah? He already came back. There's so many signs. So yeah, well, uh, yeah. Muhammad, I'm, I'm you not, have, not, the I'm onus not, is on you. You said he already came back. I'm not, I'm not here to speak about that one. What I'm here to speak about is the death of Jesus. And I'm giving you uh, quotes from the Quran which shows that he has died. But I've just so, refuted, I've just I've refuted. refuted. I'll give you no more, I'll give you no more. Huh? When, when is the Mahdi coming? When is the Imam Mahdi coming? Okay. I don't know. Chapter 30, 41. Please. Okay. Mahdi is alive from the from Christian and Jews. I know, I know, I know. Allahu lazi khalaqakum summa rafzaqakum summa yumitukum summa yuhyikum so? If it is Allah who has created you, yeah. and then He has provided for you, yes. then He will cause you to die, yeah. and then He will bring you to life. So, in the in chapter in chapter so three, according to this verse, okay. there are only four events in the life of a human. All right. One is He is born. Two, He has received nourishment and growth. Three, He dies. Four, He is raised. Okay. So Isa, Isa, according to chapter. Uh, chapter 3, verse 55, is not dead. According to chapter... This is chapter 40, no. 41. Oh, yes, I'm coming to that. According to chapter chapter 4, verses 157 to 159, he's not dead. So, we do not say that Isa, alayhi salam, is not going to die. He will die. So, when, he's, when in his descent, second coming, he will come, he will kill the Dajjal and does everything that needs to be done. Then he will remain, according to the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ in Sahih al-Bukhari, 40 years, 40 years, and then he will die and the believers will bury him and they will lead prayer, janazah prayer on him. So that, that includes Isa alayhi salam, that when he comes, he has to die. Every, everyone has got to die. Even the angel of death is going to die. Even the angel of death is going to die. So that's refuted again. What else? Where does in the Quran say that Jesus, he will go to the heavens and then come back alive and then die again? What, what is it? Rafa'ahu Allahu ilayh. What's Rafa'ahu Allahu ilayh? Where does it say he will come back and die again? It, it does say it. Where? Salaam Where? Go chapter 41. Chapter 41. Verse, uh, I believe it's verse 30 or, uh, or 20 something. Or write down Walamma Doriba Ibn Mariama Mathala Ida Kaumuka Minhu Yes it don't. It's not gonna take it, it's not gonna take it. What did he say? He said no. He's not gonna take it. Just uh okay, give me that, give me that, give me that. Let me get my one. Let me get my one. Let me get my one. Muhammad, this is going to be the last, uh, the last one I'm going to do with you. Because Muhammad, as I say to you, you are not equipped to discuss with me, yeah? The irony of saying medieval Christians, the butcher, the butcher, the Okay, Muhammad. Go to, go to chapter for, uh, uh, Zukhrov, fifty-seven. Yeah. Okay, did you find it? 
Ah? Zohrov, Zohrov. It will be... No, 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 you've gone too far. You've gone too far, too far, too far. Stop, 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 stop. Go back, go back. Uh, this one here, 43, 43, 43. 50, 58 for you. It will be 58 for you. 58 for you. And it's the last one, Mohammed, yeah? Yeah, as in the people raise the uh, their acts. Yeah, they say our, our gods better or he. They mention not this to be but for the sake of disputation. Nay, but they are a contentious people. <laughs> He, he was only our servant on whom he bestowed our favor. He was our servant, continue. On whom he bestowed our favor and we made him an example of the children of Israel. Okay, continue. And if we so willed, we could make from among our angels in the earth to be successors therein. Okay, but continue. He, the next one. He was a sign of the hour. Who he was the sign? Who was the sign? Who was, was the sign? Who was the sign? He was the sign of the hour. So he says, um, so he can refer to Jesus or to the Quran and to the words that could mean that Jesus of the Israelites will be described of the gift of the prophethood. So it refers to. So, so the verses are talking. The verses are talking about walamma doriba. So it starts with Jesus and it goes on. It goes on talking about Jesus, 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 and it, it, at the end it says wa inna hu la ilmun. And another recitation, la alamun knowledge and a sign. Ilmun or alamun. So ilmun knowledge, alamun sign. Yeah. So in there it says Jesus. So he will come near the time of the hour. Your Mirza Ghulam Ahmed came far away from the hour. For over a hundred years we have got no hour, and only Allah knows when it's going to be. So it can't be him. It cannot be him. So this Isa that you speak about, which is our Isa ibn Maryam, is coming down. He will descend and he will come near the hour. Mirza Ghulam, did he come near the hour? No. Yeah. Did he come near the hour? Did he come near the hour? Did he come near the hour? Which is he talking about? Mirza Ghulam Ahmed, did he come near the hour? Did he come near the hour? Not near the hour no. no, not near the hour. So the Isa ibn Maryam that is in the Quran, he will come near the hour. And then he will do what Allah Jalla wa Ala has prepared for him to do. And there is more than 60 hadith, mutawatir, you know, talking about him, uh, uh, narrated by, by none less than 28 companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So, all your things have been refuted. Muhammad, I made you happy by giving you some time. So, inshallah, Muhammad, Muhammad, look at me. You have to renounce and come to Allah Jalla wa Ala. You know, you have to take your shahada. You have to take your shahada, Muhammad. What do you mean, no, no? What is the hour? 
What is the hour? The hour. It's the day, it's the day of judgment. Near the hour, it's the sa'a in Arabic. It's near the day of judgment. The hour is not near the day of judgment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the day of judgment, Muhammad. You see, you don't even know these things like that. Muhammad, you still need to learn, yeah? We, we, got, we got a different commentary. No, Muhammad, your the, commentary the is hour, done by who? By who? The hour. By Mirza Tahir. The hour. Uh huh. You know the uh -huh. time of the end of the Masonic dispensation and to what the Masonic rise of the dispensation. Sharia. Ask anyone in here. Ask Muhammad. even non-Muslims. Ask even non-Muslims. They will tell you the hour. Non-Muslims know what's the hour. So it's the only, the only one that know the true meaning of the hour are Ahmadis. Come on. Listen, Muhammad. Muhammad. Muhammad, so Muhammad, the, uh, Muhammad, you know, you know your Mirza Tahar and everyone, they say, they say do not use metaphor. You always say, but you don't get the context. Muhammad, I'm going to invite you, listen to me, listen to me. I'm going to invite you once more to leave what you, own, what, you are, what you are at and to come and say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah. Muhammad, wallahi, wallahi I am. Wallahi, I am, look, I want the good for you. Wallahi, I want the good for you. This is this belief that you hold will take you to the hellfire, Muhammad. And I feel sorry for you. I feel sympathy for you. Qadiani, 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 Khalil, Khalil, Qadiani, Qadiani, Khalil, Khalil, Mat, 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 Again, once more, I've just, I decided a long time ago not to talk to Muhammad, but subhanallah, he keeps coming, Allahu Akbar. But he keeps coming and I just kind of uh, let him, so it was time with him, again, he, no, it's not broken, you can, uh, again, once more, he doesn't know what he's talking about, and this is the problem. This is the problem with all Qadianis, that they, this is the problem with all Qadianis that we face, that their, their, their murabbis and their uh, missionaries, they can't come to debate with us, but rather the layman like Muhammad come, which is he's all over the place, he doesn't know was even the hour, he does not even know the hour, and the hour is agreed up, uh, agreed amongst Muslims and non-Muslims that it is the, the day of judgment, that it's the time near the time of judgment. So, once more, they keep saying that Isa is dead, and we keep saying that Isa is not dead, they keep bringing it mean he the soul went now the argument being about the soul the soul in Arabic it has got which is a ruh or a nafs however when we when we say nafs it can mean the soul too when we say a ruh it means the soul and it means for example a ruh al qudus which is which is uh, Jibril alayhi salam now a ruh in Arabic comes as masculine and it comes as feminine. When the ruh means, it means the soul, it is feminine. So when they say, barrafa'ahu, we say, look, if it was the soul, Allah Jalla wa'ala doesn't need to say barrafa'ahu because when the soul leaves the body, it doesn't matter if it is the soul of a believer or non-believer, it goes up, it ascends to the heavens. And then the, the, the soul of the believers it gets welcomed and the soul of the non believer well it falls it's a free fall until it goes in the seven earth and then it comes back and it goes back to the, the tomb so and then it's al barzakh however however if it was the soul allah jalla wa ala would have said bal arafa'aha and this one they cannot they cannot negate or discuss it with us and they've been running away from it especially someone called Razi even Bal, Bal in Arabic it's harfu idrab, it's adatu idrab and adatu istidrak 
one of its functions, it negates what's before it and it affirms what's after it. Now when we, when we look at what is before Bal, we say, we'll see, وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ يَقِينًا They killed him not with certainty, certainly, definitely they, Bal رَفَعَهُ In here, الرفع can only be soul and body because of the pronoun who. Who it means soul and body in here. Had it been just been the soul, it would be, it would have been bal rafaaha. You will not find rakaka the miss kind of construction of the phrases in Quran. You will not find Quran. Quran is the word of Allah Jalla wa Ala. The Arabic kind of grammar is based on the Quran, not the Quran based on it. It is based on the Quran. This is the language of the Arabs. Even the even the Christian Arabs knew this, and they couldn't, they could not argue with the the, scholar, the, the Muslim scholars regarding it. But the Qadianis, until today, they still. I want another thing. When Allah Jalla wa Ala says, "Isa al Masihu, Isa ibn Maryam, Rasul Rasulullah," so in here, al Masih, someone who goes around in, in, uh, in earth. Isa, it's a name. They say Isa is a title. Ibn Maryam is a title. And in Surah Al Imran, the mother of Maryam says, Wa inni sammaytuha, and I named her, and I named her. It doesn't say, and I gave her a title. It says, and I named her. So they have got a problem in here. And then Rasulullah. And we know that Al Mirza Ghulam Ahmed, first of all, he said that he is a renovator, Mujaddid. Then after that, he said that he's al-Mahdi. Then, then after that, he said that he is the resemblance of Isa. He's not Isa, he's the resemblance of Isa. Then in 1901, he says, seven years before he dies, he says that he is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. However, he is Dhilli, the shadow, shadow of Muhammad, Buruzi Dhilli. So have you ever seen a prophet who keeps changing from one title to the other to the other. I tell them, give me one prophet who has been, who it's been revealed to him that he's one thing once, second thing that he's different, and no prophet. All the prophet, when it was revealed to them, it was revealed that you are a prophet of Allah. You are a messenger of Allah. Not that you are this one and that one. And so, you see, all of this has been refuted. And subhanAllah, we want miracles, no miracles, no miracles. Actually, all his prophecies, none of them came, none of them came correct. None of them came correct. He actually once debated a Christian called uh, Abdullah Atham. You know what happened? Two weeks of debating, he never, he never defeated Abdullah Atham. And what happened at the end? Abdullah Atham won and two, two close followers of Mirza Ghulam Ahmed ended up embracing Christianity. So what kind of a prophet that gets defeated by none other than a mere priest? A priest defeated a prophet that receives the revelation. And subhanAllah, Mirza Ghulam Ahmed, whenever the people used to debate him and they corner him, what he used to, his, uh, his kind of uh, getaway, uh, getaway get card, uh, get out card, what he used to use, uh, use, oh, Allah has revealed to me. So because Allah has revealed to me, you have to accept it. And you have to read his kind of uh, literature. It's absolutely, absolutely diabolical. It's got no sense. He has said that he is God himself. That's what he said, that he is God himself. He said that he is Mary. And he said that after being pregnant, metaphorically pregnant, for 10 months, we know that the pregnancy in a human being is nine months or less, between six and nine, but not, not 10 months. Another thing, what he said, he said then after the 10 months, he became Isa. Now, Billahi alaykum, by Allah, tell me someone who is, who becomes a prophet, a prophet that becomes a woman, then becomes pregnant, then becomes the, the fetus or the baby himself. When Allah Jalla wa Ala says, and we have only give revelation to
to men, to men, not to women or metaphoric women. Then he says in one of his revelations, he says that he was a woman and Allah, astaghfirullah, injected powerhood into him, manhood into him. He said that Allah looks like an octopus, that he has got so many feet and so many and so many hands that he resembles he, uh, with so many veins and these, and these kind of tentacles and that, they engulf the universe. So he, not only that he said that he, Allah is in him or he resembles Allah or anything like that, but he took Allah and made Allah look like a, astaghfirullah, an octopus. Is this someone who is sane? Is this someone to be followed? Is this someone to be, to be taken seriously? So subhanallah, this is, this is just a layman. But if, you, if I tell you that actually their scholars, their scholars believe in this. And when we debate them, they, everything we say, it's metaphor, metaphor. Their whole religion is a metaphor. So for me, Mirza Ghulam Ahmed is a metaphor too. It's a metaphor, it's a rock that people think is a, is a prophet. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Nashadu an la ilaha illa ant. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Wa jazakumullahu khayran.